With any prolific radio series like CBS Radio Mystery Theater, there's always a lot to unpack. It had 1,399 episodes in its original broadcast run, so it's hard to know where to start. One of my favorite episodes comes in 1974, the first year of its run, and it's called How to Kill Rudy. It starts around a man named Rudy who was a huge fan of Mace Hacker, a exploitative, hard-boiled detective novelist that writes very violent and amazing stories that only he seems to take seriously and love. Although most people don't really respect their work, he finds another person on a business meeting who is also a Mace Hacker fan. And that person lets him know that Rudy, who was a huge fan, actually has the number of novels Mace Hacker has put out wrong. There is one additional novel that he never heard about that was put out under a different name before their career took off. Rudy hunts down this book, and when he gets it, he noticed some parallels to his life. Number one, the main character's name is Rudy. Uh, there is also other characters, Ramona and Jack. His boss name is Jack. His wife, who is the most important thing in his wife, in his life, is named Ramona. As he reads the book, he suddenly realizes that this has more parallels to his life than he'd like to admit, even to where the conversation happening at breakfast that morning mirrors what is happening with him and Ramona. As the story goes on, you kind of start to wonder, is Rudy really a reliable narrator or is he having a mental breakdown or is this actually all happening to him it takes him on a wild chase where he goes to actually find the original mace hacker it's a lot like uh the movie the number 23 with jim carrey in a lot of ways but i personally like this a lot better uh give it a check out how to kill rudy written by sam dan on cbs radio mystery theater